Hello and welcome to this quick introduction to Nosby. This video will cover the basic functionality of our web application. Our native desktop apps and tablet apps are very similar, so you will find this tutorial very useful if you are using our native app for the Mac, Windows PC, Android tablet or the iPad. On our mobile apps, the iPhone and Android apps, as well as mobile.nosby.com, the design is a little different, but the Nosby productivity principles are the same. We will divide this tutorial into 10 parts, similar to our 10 steps to ultimate productivity course, which you can find on our website nosby.com slash course. Let's get going. Part 1. The Inbox. Here is where I put all of my tasks first and later manage them in Nosby. To add a task to Inbox, just click on one of the plus buttons. The button in the top right corner adds tasks directly to Inbox from anywhere in the application. This button can also be invoked by pressing the T key on your keyboard. The button in the bottom right corner adds tasks to the current view. This button can also be invoked by pressing the A key on your keyboard. You can also add tasks to Nosby from your email and from your web browser. First, go to Settings. By the way, if you want to log out from your Nosby account, here's the handy Logout button. Now, go to the section Bookmarklet and add this link to your bookmarks. To add a task through email, just use your nickname dot pin at nosby.me. Here's me forwarding a task from Gmail to Nosby. It's that easy. Remember to add your secret Nosby email address to your contacts to use it later. Sometimes it can take up to 5 minutes before the task shows up in Nosby. You can also write several tasks and add them to Nosby. Start each task with a dot. You can add a comment below each task if you want. Now, back to Nosby Inbox. As you can see, all the tasks from email have been added correctly, along with their attachments and comments. Emailing a task to Nosby has never been easier. Each task in Nosby has several parameters, which help you get even more proficient in time management. Context. It's like a category of a task. We'll talk about context a little later. Time needed. You can estimate how much time a task needs to get done. Later, you can see your statistics at the bottom of the inbox or any other view in Nosby. Due date. A task can have a due date. When it does, it shows up in your Nosby calendar as well. Repeat. Your task can repeat every now and then. Comment. You can add comments to tasks. This way you can add your thoughts about a task, describe it in more detail, or simply communicate with others. Important! When a task is done, it stays on your task list until the end of the day. Later it's being moved to the Completed Tasks section. Part 2. Projects. When you start Nosby, you have no projects defined. Free Nosby users are limited to 5 projects. Paying Nosby customers have unlimited projects. Let's add the first project. When you add a project, you can start adding tasks immediately. Let's add another project, this time work-related. Sometimes the task is very big and we need to convert it to a project. It's very easy in Nosby. Now we have three projects, two work-related and a private one. As our project list grows, we might want to group some projects together. We think too much structure is not effective in the long run, so instead of introducing projects, sub-projects and sub-sub-projects, we give you an ability to create project labels.
This way, you can filter out how many projects you see at once on your project list. Each project can have more than one label if you want to. As you can see, some projects are definite, meaning they will be completed at some point. Other projects are like lists, they will remain here for a long, long time. Apart from labels, projects can have different colors to make them stand out on your project list. Part 3. Next Actions When you have several projects, you'll have many more tasks. In Nosby, you can easily star a task to make it your next action. It's important to choose a task that you feel like doing. Sometimes you need to choose a task from the middle of your list. When you go to the Next Actions view, you see all of your start tasks from all of your projects. You can filter them easily to focus only on a few tasks. Some tasks need due dates. If you add a date to a task and this date is today or is overdue, the task will automatically be start and become your next action. Tasks in Nosby can also be reoccurring, every day, every week, you name it. Your next actions view is your command center. You should focus on cleaning it out every single day. This is where I spend most of my day. Part 4. Mobile access. In Nosby you can easily print out your projects. As we mentioned, we also have apps and mobile apps for most of the leading platforms. We have a mobile site called mobile.nosby.com. We have native apps for the Mac, Windows PCs, iPhone, iPad, Android phones and tablets. And we have a couple of new apps coming up very soon. All of our apps work offline without internet connection and sync your data with Nosby web application when they can. This way you can be productive anywhere Anytime. Part 5. Share projects. Nozbe is all about collaboration. To share a project with someone, just invite them with an email address. Once they've accepted your invitation, you'll be able to delegate tasks to them and they will be able to delegate tasks to you. When you delegate tasks to someone, it becomes their next action. It's important to understand that your private projects remain your projects forever. Other people can only see projects they were invited to. When someone adds a comment to a task you're working on, this comment shows up in the New Comments section. Speaking of comments, in Nosby you can comment with not only text, and we use Markdown for comments, but also with images, short checklists, and URLs, as well as Evernote notes and Dropbox files. In Nosby, we try not to use email when working together. We communicate through tasks. Part 6. Contexts. Contexts are places or tools or other categories that your tasks have in different projects. My favorite example is the phone context. When you add it to your tasks, you can later batch your phone calls, even if they are from different projects. To assign a context to a task, you can drag and drop contexts on tasks and the other way around. Only the contexts that have tasks assigned to them appear on your context list. To see all of your available contexts, just click on the I button below the context list. Part 7. Reference material. Each project can have notes and files.
Nosby also syncs with great apps like Evernote and Dropbox. Here's how you can sync your notes and files with these services. When you have file names similar to your project name or Evernote notes tagged in the same way as your projects, these show up automatically in Nosby. This way, you can use the best apps on the market together. Evernote for notes, Dropbox for files, and Nosby for tasks. Part 8. Review your stuff. At the end of the week, please do your weekly review. Just go through each project, see which task is still relevant, which should become your next action, which should be delegated. I hope Nosby can help you and your company get organized better. Make sure to get our native apps for all the platforms that you use and invite your friends to communicate through tasks with them. Bonus one, project templates. If there is a project you're doing very frequently, like a daily routine, weekly checklist, or acquiring a new customer, or anything else you're doing in the same way, make it a template. Just create a new project in Nosby, fill it up, and click on the template icon below. Convert the project to a template, and it will show up on your template list. Now, just click on a template and create a project from it, and get things done. Once you've completed all of your tasks, mark also the project as complete. Bonus 2. Drag and drop to process your inbox. When you want to process inbox, use drag and drop. You can drag and drop tasks to reorder them, but you can also move them to projects, convert them into projects, and assign context and a lot more. This way you can clean up your inbox very quickly in Nosby. Bonus 3. Use hash to add a task with parameters. You already know that the task can have several parameters. Now you can use a hash or a pound symbol when adding a task to Nosby and choose a parameter you need. It's very easy and handy. You can choose your project, context, time needed, due date and a lot more. When you are sharing a project with someone, you can directly delegate a task to them by writing their name. This also works when you're adding tasks to Nosby from email. It gets even better. You don't have to write entire parameters of tasks. Nosby is smart enough to know which ones you meant. Just have a look. Thank you. Thanks for watching our short introduction to Nosby. Nosby looks like a simple tool, but when you start exploring, it's really powerful. Nosby works for individuals as well as teams. We are a team of close to 20 people in Nosby and we use it every day to communicate and get things done together.